Hey folks, what's happening? This is DJ Rockin' Rob, and I'm here today to talk about gobos. Printed home gobos, that is. In, uh, in the first part of this series, I mentioned that uh, my florist sent me a picture, and I made a gobo from that. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I did that. It's also the same... It essentially the same procedure for uh, scanning the wedding invitation and making a monogram from there or maybe you scan the napkin or whatever but just taking a digital image and using it for gobo purposes okay but so we need to uh, we need to open up if you saved your uh, your gobo safety lines then uh, then open that up and use that uh, for creating the videos I erased them so now I just have to make a new one so I'm gonna open up a new document with a 26 millimeter Kobo 26 millimeter 600 got it we're gonna make the circle switch it back to black got it rasterize layer throw away that one okay now our safety lines we need to make our safety lines millimeters 24 24 600 done same thing here rasterize layer Control A selects all, Control C copies, select the original, Control V uh, in the layer properties or the layer style. We're going to add a stroke, change the color to white, and done. There it is. Okay, now uh, we will save this as a uh, 26 millimeter gobo with. 24 millimeter safety save that now we can get rid of this and we have our safety excellent now we need to find our picture where is our picture here it is All right. <clears throat> Here's our picture. Let's uh, get rid of the background because we don't need it. What what we do need to do is get rid of all the non-essential pieces. So. We'll make it make our eraser huge and erase the non-essential pieces. Now what you saw there was one fluid movement. If I control Z to undo, boom, it's all gone all gone, right? Um, sometimes long pressing a, a drag will uh, I run into problems like uh, for instance if uh, if we go all the way around we're long pressing all the way around all the way around and then oh no I erased a part of the uh, image that I didn't want to when I go to undo that I have to do the entire thing again so uh, you know long pressing could be a time-saving technique if you're good or a not so time saving technique if you're bad or make a mistake or somebody bumps you or I don't know if you try and get too close so that was all one move now with the rest of it it doesn't matter we just erase it don't need it now here's where the fun begins right because we still have this uh, image here. Let me let me give you some contrast to work with. The paint bucket. There. Okay. 
Now, the magic eraser tool is awesome. You uh, select a color and oh, we had the we had the black layer selected. We need the image selected. So again, you select the color and it takes out all of the color that it's touching. Here it was kind of a gradient, so it, it faded out into a different color, but that's all right. We just keep clicking, and it keeps going. Nice. Now, it's getting pretty difficult right here in the middle because we're zoomed out too far. So, uh, Alt-Mouse Wheel will zoom in, and we can take out all these colors all these non-essential colors. Now, this is essentially empty space. So if you click again, it takes out another little layer. Click again, keep clicking, and that's about all it's going to do. So it, it ate up a little bit more of the white. Yeah, all right, whatever. So, keep it going. Now, the mouse wheel will move you up and down. Control mouse wheel will move you left and right. Now, you don't have to use the magic eraser for these. You could just use the eraser tool. Make sure it's small enough to fit in there, though. <laughs> and we're not big enough in there. So, change that down. I used to know a keyboard shortcut to change the size of your brush that you're using, but I forgot it. All this fine detail work that you're doing here will pay off when you go to uh, actually make the uh, gobo. want to get all these little residuals out of here because they will show up when you go to print. That'll just cause you problems. Okay, now, now we have uh, most of it cleaned up, but there's a problem. Hmm? There is a small little problem. Okay, in our original image, you can see the flash has uh, distorted the pattern, and the top of the glass or the top of the vase, the pattern was cut off by the the pattern was cut off by the top of the vase, and that's what we're having to deal with here. This little section is all messed up, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that. Here's the top portion that's messed up. It looks a lot like this portion right here. So we will copy that and paste it. It pastes as a new layer, and we can do whatever the heck we want with it. So get our eraser tool, make it a little bit bigger. And now we can. There we go. We we take that. We can put it right up here on top. 
No, it doesn't perfectly fit, does it? Hmm. There's two ways we could fix that. One, I could come into the original image and uh, adjust that. Should we adjust it? Or should I drag a box, right click, and freeform transform? Hit this uh, link to make the, the width and the height lock together, and we'll make it a little bit bigger. What do you think of that? Yeah, I like that. So, once you make it a little bit bigger, it says, are you sure you want to do that? You hit enter, done. Control D, deselects. Now we still have um, a bit of um, not matching up. So, we will have to go back in there and edit the original. But that's easy, because now... We're done. There it is. You could even come back to this one and do a little bit of touch up right there. Very nice. Now zoom out of that. It looks like it was the meant to be the whole time. Now that only fixed the top. We still have to worry about this portion right here. Well, luckily, there's a nice clean center line right there. So Control copy. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. Oh, what happened? Oh, look at that. We only selected the. Jeez, uh, that messes me up all the time. See, we have our select box here, but layer two. It's just that little uh, pip at the top. So we only really selected that much of the layer. We should have been selecting the original picture. So now we can. Control C that, Control print that. <clears throat> now, with this, we can flip it. There we go. Excellent. Control D to deselect. Now we can use the arrow and move it right on top. line it up the best you can and then once it's lined up the best you can get it to line up then you can go in remember to select the original let's make this a little bit bigger yeah now we can erase Be careful not to not to get too carried away with uh, erasing the original image, because uh, you can still make mistakes here. <laughs> All I'm erasing is what's under the work that we did.
Okay. Now, we have three separate layers here. We need to merge them all together. So merge down, merge down. <clears throat> now, it's all one. But it's black, and gobos are typically white. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this as black as possible. Just black. I mean... How black can you make it? <laughs> so that's pretty good. Now, we can invert the colors. And what? We have white. Look at that. So, let's control A, control copy this black circle into here. There it is. Now, with the original layer selected, we will draw a box, right-click, freeform, transform, make sure to lock the width and the height, then let's get that into our circle. Control copy, control paste. There it is. We have a little bit protruding beyond our uh, safety margins. Do you want to uh, skirt the line of is that okay? Or control A, right click, freeform transform, lock the height and the width, and bring it in just a little bit. Once you like it, press enter, control D to deselect, and there you go. That is our gobo. Turn off the safety file, save as desktop floral gobo one. And here is our gobo. That is exactly how I made. this one and then I stretched it and then I made it for a different fixture <laughs> all right folks there you go simple easy quick this is DJ Rock and Rob saying thanks for watching I hope you learned something and make some gobos will you get out of here catch you guys later